Hello everyone, it's Dennis here. I had a um, workshop today at Stoneham TV on Facebook groups and um, so just wanted to let everybody know it went fabulous. Thanks to all who attended and um, just to go over a couple of uh, the things that we talked about in the workshop. Um, Facebook is uh, promoting groups quite a bit nowadays um, as the new sort of community coming together place on the social media platform. And um, there are interest groups, um, there are groups of, of, of any kind. Um, if you're not familiar with Facebook groups and you'd like to uh, know more, on the app it is um, this button here opens up your groups tab and there are suggested groups um, on your computer it is on the left hand uh, menu on your uh, laptop computer if uh, just click groups and a page will open and it will be suggestions I checked it this morning um, I'm a member of a lot of uh, different community groups around the area so a few more of those were suggested to me the Stoneham um, garage sale group uh, the everything is free Stoneham group with a thousand members um, so you know things that Facebook knows about you um, advertising tactics given my field that uh, makes sense um, it's based on your interests and your uh, Facebook algorithm. Although why it would recommend that I join a 256 member Chicago sports legends group shows you really don't know me at all, Facebook. But anyhow, um, if you're looking to start a group for your business or organization, and, 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 and that's the uh, preferred method now of, of connecting with customers and um, supporters and contributors and you know, whatever the case may be, um, rather than pages. Don't give up your page. You still need your page. Your page is where your um, static content goes. It allows you to advertise, um, uh, sponsor, boost posts, things like that. You can only do through your page. And it's where people searching for your business will find you on your page. Um, but you should also think about starting a group. And there are three different types of groups. Um, the first is public which, as the name implies, anyone can find it on Facebook. Anyone can see who the members are. Anyone can decide to join. Um, anyone can see the posts and the different discussions, videos, uh, whatever you choose to share on um, your uh, group. And anyone can share that information with um, on their own personal um, Facebook accounts. Uh, then there has a private but visible option. Uh, this is the most one that makes sense for businesses, I think. Um, you can ask to join. Anyone can find the group. You can't see the posts and you can't see who the members are until you actually join. And you can be invited to join by a member or you can ask to join. Some groups will give you a questionnaire to see if you actually fit the criteria. Um, you can definitely have criteria for joining a group. Members of a certain neighborhood, uh, members of a certain family, people invited to an event, all these types of uh, different people. Uh, for business, it would be your customer base, your preferred customer base, um, in which any customer that would ask to join, you would let them join. Um, then there is the private and hidden groups, which used to be called the secret option. Uh, the private visible group used to be called the closed groups. Now it's private but visible. These are private but hidden, used to be secret groups. Um, you can't find them on a search. They don't come up on a search. The only way you can find out about them is to be invited by a member. Um, a lot of times that's for very specific um, reasons. Uh, people don't want to air something um, publicly, but they need to communicate with a lot of different people, so they do it privately. Um, member, employees working on a project together, um, they're the only people who should be members of this group collaborating and sharing information. Um, so that's what private and hidden groups uh, would be for. But for your business, you want to be visible, but you don't want to make it seem like anybody can just join and follow, because when you start uploading content um, to your group, something you should keep in mind is to offer specials to the group members. That's how you increase sales through groups. Um, but again, posts should not be salesy. It should be creating a sense of community. You should ask questions, um, offer polls, um, and again, offer exclusive discounts to uh, your group members. So that's it uh, on Facebook groups. Thank you for watching and contact me if you have any questions. Dennis.O'Hara at yahoo.com. Have a great day.